What is going on, my people? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic kick butt day today so far. So guys, today's video is going to be freaking epic. It's something that I've been looking forward to making for a very, very long time. It's on my boy Mortis and a very, very significant milestone has been reached with Mortis. Yes, another world record. There's been world records being broken for Mortis for <laughs> a couple videos here now. I believe the very first one was set by YDE at 1,251 trophies. The next world record set was by Molly and I believe he achieved 1,283 trophies. But guys, today the world record has been smashed once again by the one and only YDE, a fantastic Mortis player and just pro player in general. I gotta be honest with you guys, I really, really wanted to get Mortis, like the world record for Mortis, starting at like getting him to 35 and then trying to get up there, especially when it was still at 1,283, but YDE was like, no, no, no. So he managed to get to 1,300 trophies for quite a while within this season, really early off, but now he's at 1,400 and beyond, and he's playing some live matches right now. So just to kind of put this in perspective for all of you guys the highest trophy milestone that's ever been reached inside of brawl stars ever is in the 1500 so 1500 and i believe like one or two um so we are getting up there guys we're getting close to like the pinnacle of the trophy milestones ever accomplished inside of the game in general so it's really really exciting the gameplay is epic and i can't wait for you guys to see it as always guys make sure to go check out yde's channel linked in the description down below i believe he did a video on his mortis grind as well um so that'd be cool to check out as well as he He's been crushing it on YouTube as of lately, so I would really highly recommend that you guys go check out his content. So without any further ado, let's get into this epic grind. I cannot wait. Let's do it. Okay guys, so we're currently in matchmaking waiting for YDE to hop into his very first match and it's gonna take a really long time we're at this trophy range, but I just wanna show you the trophies that we're starting with in today's video, which is 14,004, which is the current world record, I believe. But there may be some losses in today's video. Never know, you can't hold against them. Um, but my cards are on YDE's team. Um, you gotta get some wins if you're up at this trophy range. Um, so let's hop into our first match. Okay guys, so we found our very first match and I am pretty... I would like to kind of put up a timer on the screen just to show you guys how long matchmaking is. I might do that before we hop into our next one. So we're not going to spectate YDE. We're just going to take a nice even playing field. We're going to take a look at every single one of the players so we can see what's going on. Um, so our team, we have a Rosa, a Sandy, and a Mortis. YDE rocking the best Mortis skin and arguably the best skin in the entire game. Rockabilly. That's my guy. I can definitely relate to my boy YDE rocking the Rockabilly. I love it. Um, and we're up against a Poco, a Tara, and a other Rosa. Um, so in my personal opinion, I like our team comp a little bit better. I know some people have been giving giving me some flack for saying that I like our team comp better, but I do. Sandy is so freaking impressive in the meta. Um, though we have some synergy with Poco and Rosa on the enemy team, but we'll see if YD can kind of disrupt things on the back burner. But as you can see, we're not off to a great start here, um, and I'm a little bit nervous about that. We'll see if we can turn it around. We don't have any like super high crazy DPS brawlers on our team able to contest that Rosa. Um, and I think the enemy Rosa and knows that but he's all out of super poco hitting him up with the heal what's yd doing up there able to take out the tara can tara and can yd kind of help on the back we'll have to see <coughs> excuse me okay we're trying to contest this rosa as best we can okay yd hopping in able to take out the poco getting a super off of the oh my goodness what a, a beast he got double super off that twisty is able to take out the rosa oh my goodness what a great game the cards were stacked against them from the very beginning they weren't doing very well i take that back Ooh. okay this is getting a little bit too <laughs> dangerous <laughs> i was saying that uh, our team comp was a little bit better and i still believe it was um but the enemy team played really, really good against YD's team. My goodness, that was scary. And as you can see, Twisty Tick is at 14-4 with Sandy. After this game, make sure to let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see some high-quality um, Sandy gameplay, pro, uh, pro gameplay. But we're on Mortis right now, baby. Let's head into the next match, and I'm going to see how long the matchmaking is. Let's do it. Okay, guys, so we're sitting at 14 minutes for our spectating wait time. So let's head into our match here. Let's go. So we are somewhat into it. We just missed the intro screen, which isn't that big of a deal. Um, so it looks like YD is squaring up against a Rosa, which isn't that crazy good right off the get-go. We're gonna be keeping our team comp throughout the entirety of this video today. So we still have the Rosa, the Mortis, and the Sandy team comp. And they have very identical team comps to the last one. This map, you will see Rosa and Poco so many times. I swear, it's like you have to use 
use those brows on this map or something. I don't know. Um, but I haven't seen a Sandy, so that's kind of props for us so that we get the Sandstorm benefits. Um, so here we go. So it looks like YD really doesn't have a good brawler to go up against with Mortis, except I would say Poco, but Poco still can be a little bit of a tricky brawler to go up against with Mortis um, because you are like giving him super. He's like a five shot brawler. He can be tricky, um, but he doesn't do a lot of DPS. So it's, he's a little bit more docile. Okay, so it looks like Carl's trying to make a break for our two guys on the bottom. YD's doing a really, really good job going up against Brawlers that he's not necessarily good against, staying alive on the back burner, causing uh, ruckus so that they're distracting two people to go back and focus just on YD while two of us are on the back burner just collecting gems, doing our thing. Um, and it works out really, really well for us. So YD, ooh, we're catching a little bit of leg. YD doing a really great job against the Rosa and the Poco still going hard against the, uh, the Carl. And we're holding it down. But Rosa and Poco are switching their attention to the two guys that have gems. YD did a really, really good job with Mortis there. I don't think he picked up a single kill. But he was such a great influence for his team. Being able to keep the enemy teammates distracted. And doing work for their team. Not in a way of like just getting kills. Which is really, really good. But it looks like Rosa's going to be going down. Oh my goodness, no way. Okay. Okay, this is not good. A last minute loss. Are you kidding me? No way. This is horrible. Oh my goodness. Oh. Can we come back somehow? Go Whitey. Let's go Whitey. Oh my goodness. He almost clutched up in the end. Are you kidding me? No way. So with that loss, like I said before, there's going to be some losses, guys. You kind of got to got to take that into account so what is yd sitting at now he's sitting at 1395 oh it's gonna take some work just to get up to where we started in today's video but we're still grinding we're still working at it let's go okay guys so heading into our third match matchmaking was only 10 minutes that time and since we lost in gem grab we're going to be switching up gears to brawl ball now yd before um was telling me that this brawl ball map is actually not super good for mortis and as you can see the enemy team off to a a first uh, start right off the get-go scoring one goal so we have still twisty tick using sandy and we got yd on mortis and then we have semantic on shelly so we'll see what we can do here um mortis going for a bb can be a little bit of a tricky matchup but when you're in the hands of a really really good mortis player you can kind of dance around the shots okay we're getting close we're pressuring we're pressuring yd's able to score it yes okay we're tying it up let's get another win on the board i'm knocking on wood i don't want to jinx yd's team <laughs> okay so we're up against a tara a bb and a piper so piper can be a nuisance um for the mid um so that is twisty he's kind of going up against the piper but piper can just kind of sit on the back burner and do her thing by um dishing off that damage that annoying poke damage that i shouldn't say annoying da poke damage it's a lot of damage um, so the enemy team is pressuring here. They're doing a smart thing, um, Tara and Piper. They're pressuring while BB with the speed is rolling in. We'll see what happens. Oh my goodness, this is not looking good for our team, guys. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. They're going to score. No. Whitey. Oh my goodness, why did the enemy team do that? Oh my goodness, we have a second wind. Let's go. That game was should have been over. Maybe that was some tactics, some mind games that YD did there. He kind of like stopped and gave up. So the tar kind of BM'd, or I I think it was the BB BM'd a little bit there. So maybe this is a good uh, learning experience for all of us not to BM. Let's go! It is! <laughs> what an unconventional game. But a win's a win, everybody. That's plus three trophies. We're sitting at 1,390 eight trophies let's hop into our next game hopefully matchmaking isn't super long let's do it okay guys so heading into our fourth match matchmaking was 10 minutes not too shabby so we're up against another mortis interesting a brock whitey can definitely kill a brock fairly easily and i didn't see the third brawler we kind of headed into the match a few seconds late and a primo so double ball scorer um kind of looks like a random enemy team but i think i recognize some of the names but we are pushing hard guys and whitey with a little sneaky trick shot there freaking op okay so let's roll into the next wave the next round of the match brock is another one of those brawlers i feel like this map is really really good for those long range brawlers or as some of the players that we're playing up against are doing um like with the piper and the brock but as you can see a really really fast game um hopefully <laughs> next match is not 10 minutes for <laughs> like 45 seconds of content but that's okay we'll keep it rolling let's do it 
Okay guys, so I wasn't expecting the matchmaking to be so fast, so we're a little bit late. We managed to score a goal right off the get-go. YD um, scored one right away, and I don't want to miss it. Normally, if I would mess up and get to a, a late recording, we'd hop into the next one. But we're going up against a really, really good team. We're up with uh, Hazard. I don't know. Actually, I've seen Ty play before, Ty04, but um, we're also playing with Ash as Spike. So Ash is going for the number one spot right now. I believe he's close to the top, like number two or something like that. Um, so we lost a little bit of time, but that's all right. It's just one goal. Um, looks like we might be able to score here. And there we go. Beating a really, really good team. I wonder what Ash is at at that spike. Ooh, getting close to a thousand. My goodness. Sorry, I wasn't able to catch the whole thing. Um, just wanted to show you that game. Let's go. Okay, guys. So as for our final match, we're going to be taking a look at a replay that YD wanted to show me. We're done technically grinding right now for today. YD, it's a little bit later on his end and as well as his teammates are a little bit tired. So they're going to take a break for today. So they're net plus three trophies at the end of the video today. But we'll get into that once the video is over. So we're following YD right now. Um, we're up against Anita, Apoko, and a Rosa. Once again, we are on that gem grab map where we started the video at and like I said before, you'll definitely see Pocos and Rosas all day on this map. It kind of gets annoying, especially when you have that support character in Nita kind of back you up with that bear. There's so much pressure to worry about. Um, so we have the gem advantage. We're doing really, really good. We're up against the Poco trying to take out the Poco. Um, now we got to try to suppress that Nita. The biggest thing in counteracting a Rosa is trying to get her alone or like um, taking out the weaker units, like going for the Nita, going for the Poco, killing them, and then your whole entire team or like two people can go for the Rosa to try and take her out. So it's not such a big, tall tax task to handle. Um, so YD's doing a really, really good job against brawlers that aren't necessarily um, his best options to go for, um, being like a distraction in the back. And as you can see, the enemy team submits and a really good game. And I think this is what puts them at <laughs> a couple supers at the end as well, flexing. Why do you use such a beast with Mortis? Even though they weren't necessarily playing, but it's cool to see that. A couple supers at, uh, at the end. So that puts him at 14,004. So really, really good. Okay, guys, so that is all the gameplay that I have for you in today's video. Like I said before, a new world record is made in today's video and a very, very good one. One that I feel like isn't going to be broken in a very long time. It's going to take a long, long time for someone to sit down and grind out um, and get their Mortis well above 1400. And I believe YD is going to continue going with his Mortis grind, trying to get even higher than that, trying to staple that world record so it doesn't get broken again. Um, right at the end of the video here, I just want to say I know a lot of people are like really on board for YD being one of the best Mortises in the entire world and I'm on board for that as well. I feel like his gameplay with Mortis is just so fun to watch. He's really really good in Brawl Ball with Mortis which is a really good game mode to push him up in. He is amazing in Gem Grab and I love the way that he plays like the mindset that he plays with and I'm kind of like going on the tangent of how good YD is with Mortis just because I like playing with Mortis so it's fun to see how someone plays with my favorite brawler. Um, what I see from him is he's not really going into the mindset of who can I kill 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 i need to go and kill this brawler he's more of a playing like a team oriented mortis especially in gem grab where he might not be able to go and get a kill so then he plays super aggro goes at like the top of the map so then the enemy team needs to answer them um and be that stupid aggro mortis but diverts a lot of attention maybe he's not picking up a lot of kills but he's still putting in work for his team um and that's really really good gameplay it takes a smart person to be able to do that and hopefully one day i'll be good enough to maybe set a world record with your boy mortis is. Uh, but yeah, really, really fun matches. Hopefully we can get some mortar around the corner. Maybe he'll hit, uh, hit another significant milestone. Maybe 1500 is around the corner. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see that on the channel. Um, also, make sure to go once again, check out YD's stuff in the description down below. That'd be fantastic. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to slap a like on it. Really appreciate that. Also, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Be part of the Ray fam. We would love to have you. So with that being said, everyone, make sure to keep having fun, Brawl Stars, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.